Hi hey guys, Thomas and Friends 47 here, and today we're taking a look at the brand new, just released, Thomas and Friends Motorized Talking Cranky Delivery Train Set. And man, is this a cool train set. Just look at the box here, you can see that it has 325 different sounds and phrases. It says Cranky the Crane recognizes engines and all of his friends, and his name is actually trademarked, which is interesting. Here's the side of the packaging, you can see that great illustration of Thomas there. And here's the back of the box, and it really shows all the excitement and fun you can have with this set. You'll see there's the description of the set, as uh, what's included with the set, 27 different pieces, and then of course uh, little points along the box that show you what you can do uh, with this train set. On this side you'll see it says Fun with Friends, Full Steam Ahead, and of course Tom's Friends logo. Here's the top, and I really like what they've done with the top here. It has little action points that you can see. Which I think is pretty cool. And of course there's the engine right there. And then here is the bottom of the box. You'll see it says 2022, which is interesting. And then of course that famous Thomas barcode. I really love those. Alright, now once you open the box you'll see the flap here has the steam team and then there's this little uh, information from Cranky there, which I think is pretty cool. And then here is the sticker sheet that's included, quite a few stickers, and the instruction sheet. One thing that I like about the stickers is the seat goals are optional, and I put them on Cranky because this is a review video, I think you should see what it looks like with everything on it, but it's really nice if you want to leave those off, you could, and when I buy a second version of the set, not if, but when, I will leave the seat goals off on that version of Cranky. Anyway, here's the instructions, you can see rather simple to put together, though there is some adult assembly required with Cranky himself, including screws and permanent one-time snaps. Alright, here's what's included inside of the box before everything is set up. So you have Cranky, you have this track, you have that great buffer stop, um, billboard curves, sloping curves, three sets of switches, uh, very interesting, very nice too, and there we are. Now, let's take a look at the Thomas and Troublesome truck that are included in this set. Thomas here is rather plain, it's a talking Thomas. You can see it has great seagull there in this little nest uh, with some eggs. Which, I kind of wish it was something different, I don't know, but it's, but it's rather nice. On the front here, you'll see Thomas' smiling face there, and he's looking up, which I think is great for this set. You also see the lamp there, and that does light up as Thomas talks. Very, very cool. Alright, and here's the other side. You'll see you have these seagulls printed on the side, and it actually looks like they're flying the way that they printed them. I think that's pretty cool. Here's the back of the engine. You can see the speaker and the cold load there. Then here's the top of the engine. And of course, the top of the button, and there's the bottom of the engine. Alright, next up is this Troublesome Truck. I have to say, I love this. You know, Troublesome Trucks are probably the best part about All Engines Go, and this is an awesome part of this set, too. You'll see the lining painted there, the nice blue wheels. And you'll see it actually wiggles as it goes around, which I think is neat. And here's the front of the truck. You notice he has a very mischievous face there. Very, very cool. Here's the other side. And you'll see that I removed the crystal boulder. Um, you had three pieces of cargo in the set, which is really uh, neat. Here's the back of the truck. You'll see little rivet dilt details. And on the inside, you'll see little uh, plank details, which I think, again, is a very nice touch. Here's the bottom of the truck. Alright, now let's take a look at some of the accessories that are included in this set. There's this little loader here. It's rather simple, but that's okay. Here's the other side, the top, and the bottom. And how that works is you just line up the little truck, flip the lever, and the cargo falls inside. Pretty cool. It also works with a boulder too. Alright, then there's this billboard which has Lookout Mountain on the top. Very, very cool. Or it might not be Lookout Mountain, it might be the, um, your hiding spot clubhouse. Don't know. Sorry. Not well traversed in the All Legends Go universe. <laughs> Alright, and then here is Cranky himself. Now, you'll see there's this little base here with a talking button. And 
different things. We'll go over that a little bit toward the end. But you can see Cranky is rather tall. He has great claw. And all of the grating that is on uh, Cranky himself is actually has spaces in between. So that you can see, like, you know, the blue sky behind it. I mean, I love that. It gives such a great personality. Uh, his crane arm is adjustable. You have this uh, little flag on the top that can be removed. The face looks amazing. Here's a side profile. Here's the other side. Just very, very cool all around. Here's the top, there's some mold details on the pier, and here's the bottom. And that great piece is removable at some point. You have to do a little bit of trimming, possibly. But you could remove that, and there's the talking base, too. And then here are the cargo loads that are uh, come with Cranky. And you can see there's this little package, which I think this one's my favorite. It just looks so cool. The top and the bottom. Next is this fish crate, and they changed the fish logo, which I know is bound to happen, but I don't know, it feels a little bit weird to get used to. The top and the bottom, and that's made so they can fit on the cargo cars with the pole connection. And there's the boulder there too, the same way with the pole connection. Alright, now here is the set all set up, so let's see it in action, and it is awesome. Alright, so first you're going to start Thomas at Random Docks. As you can see where he is now and what you're going to do is you're going to set up the loader so you're going to put the package in the loader next you're going to take cranky and you're going to have him then take his arm bend it down you're going to have him pick up the fish crate that's waiting on the dock pier then you're going to take and you're going to swing him around without hitting anything like i did <laughs> And then you're going to lower it into the waiting truck below. Alright, now that Thomas is loaded, he's going to be on his way. You can see here, he leaves Brendan Docks down the line, up and over, back through the loop line. And then he's going to take this switch right here to go to the, little, the delivery station. Excuse me. Alright, now once you stop Thomas, you're going to take the fish crate out. And you're going to back him up, and then you're going to load the package from this loader into Thomas. And this package has to reach the docks by two. From there, you can start Thomas off again on his journey. He heads back, up and over, set the stop track. And then he arrives at Brendan. From there, Cranky can take and unload the truck. And make the delivery. Alright, so, now that we've seen how the set works, we're going to take a look at the uh, different buttons on the panel, and then we'll take a look at uh, the talking aspect of it themselves. Oh, now you can see, when you hit the red button, Cranky talks the engines. When you hit the yellow music button, music plays. But I'm not going to play it in this video because no copyright. And then the blue button just has different sounds. Now that we've seen this set in action, let's take a listen to some of the phrases from Cranky and his friends. Stronger than me? I don't think so. <laughs> oh, hi. Hello? <laughs> Can we keep my docks cleaner this time? Go 
Don't talk a boost. <laughs> oh, hi. Hi, a friend. Hey, can you creep just like me? Alright, so what are my thoughts on this Talking Cranky set? Well, I'm going to be honest with you, when I first saw it was announced, I was ecstatic. Um, you know, from how many phrases it was, 325 phrases, to just the setup of the layout of the train set itself. Everything about it just, I don't know, it intrigued me. And when I got this package, um, my mom and brother ordered this for me, when I got this package in the mail, and I opened the box, it was just incredible. It was like I was a kid again. And, you know, I remember my first Thomas and Friends train sets, and this reminds me a lot of those train sets. You know, Cranky being able to talk and interact with the other engines is just incredible. Um, he talked for a good bit. There were some phrases that he kept repeating, so it's kind of repetitive. Um, and it doesn't talk as much, nearly as much, as the older engines did, which I think, again, is sad. Um, but, even when I stopped playing with uh, the item for review, while I was, like, editing the video in the room, Cranky would just make random noises, and Thomas would react to it. And it did that for about 10 or 15 minutes after I had stopped playing with it completely. So I thought that was a nice touch. So all in all, is this set for you? And I'm going to be honest with you, if you're an All Engines Go fan, I definitely recommend this set. Cranky is an essential part of almost any Sodor layout. And, you know, the functionality of it, even if you take away the talking aspect, you know, you can move it around 360, you can lift and load cargo, it's a great height to scale for AEG, and then the talking aspect of the two just really brings Sodor to life. Um, the way that Thomas in, uh, interacts with the songs, too, 
So, for example, he'll say, um, here comes Thomas, and then the All Just Go theme song will play. And then while he's going around, you can hear the music from the show. And there's three, uh, three almost full songs. All I Just Go theme song is completely the full song. And then you have a few chords and verses from uh, Music Is Everywhere. And then another one from I'm Gonna Chuff, I'm Gonna Chew, uh, something like that. I'm Gonna Chug, I'm Gonna Chew, rather. Um, and just great details to it. It's just, it's an incredible set. I can't say enough good about it. And like I said, if you're not a Let's Go fan, I highly recommend it. For younger engineers, it's a great item. I think they're going to have hours of fun with it. For adults, keep in mind, it is a noisy, you know, noisy play set. But I think it's one that younger engineers would absolutely adore and love. Um, if you're buying it as a Christmas gift, keep in mind, you know, when you're helping Santa out uh, with... Uh, Putting that set together, it can take some time, um, so just have a little bit of time allotted for it, and make sure to have tools handy for the screwdriver uh, with, the, with the screws with cranking. Anyway, that's my thoughts. Let me know what you think about this set in the comments below, and I'll see you all again very soon. Bye for now.